A key doctor at the center of a story that sparked national coverage is in front of the state's medical licensing board right now. The doctor is defending herself against accusations from Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita after she publicly discussed the abortion of a 10-year-old who traveled here to Indiana from Ohio last year. The board will determine whether she gets to keep her license. Lauren Kostick has been in that hearing all day. And Lauren, tell us what's happening right now. And Felicia, that hearing is still going on in this conference room behind me. It's going on for more than eight hours now. It started early this morning, just around 930. And the whole point is determined whether or not Dr. Caitlin Bernard violated privacy laws or failed to report child abuse. And those allegations are coming from the Indiana Attorney General Todd Rakita, who filed this original complaint with the Medical Licensing Board. And here's how this all played out and got started. Last summer, Todd Kita made these claims before Bernard publicly spoke about an abortion she gave to a 10 year old rape victim who traveled from Ohio. That information was given during an interview with a local reporter at a rally. However, Bernard and her attorney say she followed IU Health's policy when it comes to reporting abuse. I don't think that anybody would have been looking into this story as any different than any other interview that I've ever given if it was not politicized the way that it was by public figures in our state and in Ohio. This omission, this omission of failure to report is the cause. The effect of that failure was a child returning to live with her rapist for five days. For her perpetrator. And as far as witnesses today, we heard from Bernard herself, also the reporter who published the story, and the social worker who reported it to DCS, along, along with another Riley staffer who talked about the hospital's procedures. And this hearing, we are told, is expected to go far into tonight. We do have a crew in there right now, and we're expecting to hear more witnesses, and then closing statements, deliberation, and then finally a decision. And we will bring you updates throughout tonight. Again, like I said, we have a crew in there and they will stay in there until that decision is made.